Chancellor of the Exchequer, Nadim Zahawi, joins us now on Good Morning Britain. Um, Nadim Zahawi, this is a really critical position that the Prime Minister is in. You now have one of the ministers who went out and told voters what Number 10 had told him and subsequently found out that what he told voters was not true. And so he has resigned. Do you still defend the Prime Minister? Good morning. Will Quince uh, was uh, one of my brilliant ministers. He was the Children and Families Minister. Uh, and I think um, he you know, resigned today because um, he feels obviously um, uh, let down. I think the important thing to remember is that the Prime Minister last night um, came on air and uh, apologised and explained that he'd made a mistake. We make decisions, Ed Balls would know this, uh, we make decisions in government at warp speed. You know, really, every single day is full of really tough decisions and we don't always get them right. What mistake was Susan. he apologising though, Nadine? Well, what was the mistake he was apologising for? Because he was saying that, in, you know, with the benefit of hindsight, he shouldn't have appointed Chris Bincher to the position of deputy chief. Um, he made a mistake on that. And I think it's right to apologise when you've made a mistake, when you're making decisions so fast, in a fast-moving situation where you've been to three summits. You know, he was at, at the Commonwealth Summit, at NATO Summit, at the G7 Summit. Um, and you make a mistake, you should own that mistake and come out and apologise for it. And that's what the Prime Minister did. I think that's the right that thing That wasn't to do. why Will Quince has resigned, though, Nadim. I mean, he's saying, surely, the thing the Prime Minister should apologise for is allowing Downing Street to tell people on Thursday that the Prime Minister didn't know about it, allowing that to be said on Saturday and Sunday and Monday, and only finally on Tuesday the Prime Minister then says, actually, what Downing Street was telling everybody and telling his own ministers was untrue. Isn't that what the Prime Minister should be apologising for? Well, I think, one, he, uh, I think, apologised for um, uh, you know, making the mistake of appointing Chris Pincher. Um, of course, we got things wrong, and I take collective responsibility equally. Um, and it's, it, you know, we don't get every decision right, um, Ed. You know that. Uh, right. But telling the it's truth the right is also thing. important, isn't it? Of course it's, it is. It's important for the Prime Minister to tell the truth. Of course it is. And, and this Prime Minister was the Prime Minister who said we have to publish daily data on who we're vaccinating, when we're vaccinating, so the nation can see um, what we're doing on the vaccines programme. And data and transparency is his mantra uh, in reforming complex systems like health or education or any other part of government. But you don't get every decision right. You know but that. But Will Quince resigned because he felt lied to. That's the reason why Will Quince resigned. He said that in terms. He had received assurances and they were incorrect. He felt let down, clearly. And all I would say to my colleagues is, you know, people don't vote for divided teams. Um, you know, look at who's egging us on to keep attacking one another uh, and to do you know, all this bloodletting. It's people like Alistair Campbell. And I think where Alistair Campbell is at, any Conservative should be on the other side of that argument, in my view. It's, uh, it's extraordinary that you're targeting Alistair Campbell when the focus is all on Boris Johnson as Prime Minister. Nadim Zahawi, can you explain to us um, how we managed to do an interview with a minister of Her Majesty's Government um, on Monday morning in which he told us and all of the voters, all of the viewers, um, that he had been given a categorical assurance that a man who had been accused of inappropriate behaviour, that the Prime Minister had no knowledge of that, even though the Prime Minister had been personally briefed on complaints about inappropriate behaviour, uh, about that individual, Chris Pincher, that that complaint had been upheld, and in the wake of that, he was appointed to a position where he was in charge of the welfare of other MPs. I'm not sure that can be brushed aside as simply a mistake. That is a massive error of judgment in the first place. And secondly, Will Quince was lied to and as a result ended up lying to viewers and voters inadvertently because he'd been told something that was not true.
How did that happen? So two things to say on this. One, um, the Prime Minister went on air yesterday and explained and apologised and said, with the benefit of hindsight, uh, he shouldn't have appointed Chris Pincher to that position of Deputy Chief Whip. There is no room uh, for you know, any uh, you know, of this behaviour um, or abuse of power from uh, anyone in uh, this government. But the second thing, we obviously also made a mistake because it was a fast-moving situation, making decisions at warp speed, and actually we made a mistake. And it's right to say uh, it, was, it was a mistake and we apologise for it. My focus has to be on rebuilding the economy after the global pandemic. You know, it's like a, coming out of a Second World War and then growing the economy, returning growth to the economy. And the nation will judge us on what we deliver in the second half of this parliament. What the prime minister is focused on today is three words, delivery, delivery, delivery. That is what we will do. And I just want to make sure well, that we, we focus okay. on the really tough issues that your viewers that would be, are worrying about. It would be wonderful about, to focus on those things, Mr Zahawi. We don't focus on that because of the behaviour of the Prime Minister. And the question well, I... When I sat down with Boris Johnson just a few weeks ago, the first question I asked him, and I said to him, it's remarkable I'm asking the sitting Prime Minister this question, are you honest? How do we believe anything now that comes out of number 10? That's a critical problem for you as Chancellor. Trust, he, trust, well, trust. And, and trust, trust, trust is built on delivery, delivery, delivery. The Prime Minister was the Prime Minister that focused on data and transparency in our vaccine programme. His mantra is data and transparency will reform public services, complex systems. That's how you get you know, those services that your viewers need. And we can, of course, if we choose to today, spend a few minutes talking about uh, you know, the biggest personal tax cut in a decade, £330 to 30 million people that is delivered today. We can spend a lot of time talking about that. I, I would very much like to do that. Uh, we can spend time talking about you know, how we're making sure we're delivering safer streets in our country, 13,500 more police officers. We can spend time talking about national security abroad. We've got war raging on our continent. We can spend time talking about the backlog in the NHS, which Steve Barclay, the new and health secretary, will focus is it? on. We're not talking about that. All I'm saying to you is we have <laughs> to you know, focus you've, you've on delivery. You've had a minister resign in the last few minutes because what he was told by Number 10 about what the Prime Minister knew was not true. That's the reason that we're talking about it. I, I, don't, I don't disagree with you, Susanna, I, which is why I said we've made a mistake. It, it's a fast-moving situation. We make decisions at warp speed, and when you make a mistake, it's right to come out and say, I made a mistake. And, of course, uh, for the Prime Minister say, with the benefit of hindsight, I shouldn't have appointed Chris Pincher to the position of Deputy Chief. I think that's, in my view, that is the right way to deal with this, when you know you've made a mistake, is to come out and own it. Just to ask, uh, Nadeem, why did Rishi Sunak resign, do you think? Well, he made it clear in his letter, and I don't think I need to rehearse um, uh, why the reasons why Rishi resigned, um, or well, Saj resigned, and, us, and, you and know, the PM... You're now the, the Chancellor. PM... Your predecessor resigned. Why did he resign? Well, again, you know, you, you can read his letter, uh, Ed. I am focused on rebuilding the economy why and you tell returning us? to growth and, of course, bearing down on inflation that you know... Uh, will we'll hurt those families that we are trying to get that additional help to with that 37 billion that Rishi delivered over the next 12 months uh, of help, including 1,200 pounds to the 8 million households that need the help the most. Thank uh, you, Mrs. Zahawi, for um, coming and talking yeah. to us, and we'll look forward to talking to you again in the coming um, days and, and weeks as you set out, you know, either your alternative to the Sunak strategy. Uh, or continuity. We'll, we'll find out when you've had time to reflect Before we let that. you go, can I just ask the question that I asked the Prime Minister? Do you believe that the Prime Minister is honest all the time, Mr Zahawi? Yes, I do, because I've worked with him when we delivered the vaccine programme. He wants us to publish that daily data, be transparent, to show people where you know, we're not getting the vaccine through. I remember uh, a big headline saying in 
Tottenham. Okay, so uh, sorry, you've just reverted back to the vaccine program. Yeah, because which you're asking me now... about you're asking me about about, about uh, the... transparency. Yeah, but... You're asking me about okay. about does so, the prime so minister you, because, believe in transparency? Because he was transparent he the, about the vaccine program, mm. do you believe was he 100% honest about uh, the parties that went on in Downing Street and in government during lockdown? And was he 100% honest about what he knew about Chris Pincher? So, the reason I answered you about the vaccines is because you asked me about transparency. This Prime Minister believes in transparency. That's how you reform public no, service said, and deliver for the country. No, I said, do you believe he's 100 per cent honest? And, and, and uh, absolutely. And, the, and to the best of his knowledge, he came to Parliament and explained uh, uh, what happened in Downing Street during lockdown. And, of course, yesterday came out and actually apologised and said, I made a mistake on Chris Pincher. I think that's the right thing to do. That is leadership. He also actually, Nadim, apologised for not being uh, accurate about both Chris Prinsher and what he knew and about um, Party Gate and um, what he knew. So um, it sounds to me like you are going even further than the Prime Minister in defending something quite hard to defend. When you make a mistake, Ed, you should uh, apologise. I think your view is... Um, uh, will understand that. I think that's, that's grown-up government. That's how we should be uh, uh, delivering uh, outcomes for people. You know, they need that additional help today because inflation is high. Yeah. Uh, and this, this you know, personal yeah. uh, tax cut, the biggest yeah. in a decade, is the right thing to do. £330 for 30 million people. That's, I think, yeah. what delivery is about. And they can judge us in, in the next half of this parliament uh, on our delivery. And that will be the determinant of outcome right. in the general election. Okay. Congratulations on being appointed to one of the most important jobs in uh, government, Mr Zahar. We will look forward to talking to you again very soon.